So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the D-Brand Ghost case for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now, this case is probably the most hyped up case I have ever seen before. For any iPhone or any phone, any case, everybody's always been asking, when's the Ghost coming? When is it coming? When's it come out? When is it shipping? So many questions about the D-Brand Ghost. Well, there it is, let's take a look. So first off, if you know anything about D-Brand, their packaging always comes in this black packaging for the grip and everything like that. Well, with the Ghost, D-Brand decided to switch it up and they gave us white packaging that opens differently. Everything is a little bit different. So let's take a look at the box. So on the front, it does say Ghost case and it kind of wraps around the side. You get a little logo right there and that's pretty much it. On the side, it says iPhone 15 Pro Max and that this is by D-Brand. So without further ado, let's slide it open and take a look. All right. so. Nothing else over here, let's set that to the side. Here we get our D-Brand Ghost case, which I'm super excited to check out. And that's pretty much it. So let's take a look here. Now, D-Brand gives you this little covering over top of the case so it doesn't get scratched up or anything in shipping. And thank you, D-Brand, for giving us these pull tabs. So without further ado, let's pull it off. There you go, nice satisfying pull off of that one. And let's find this other one. It's kind of tucked right here in the corner. Let's listen to this one. Very nice pull off. And here we go. This is the D-Brand Ghost, ladies and gentlemen. So let's start off with the back of it. Now, obviously this is a clear case. So the back of it is just this nice plasticky material, but D-Brand is gonna say that this case will never ever yellow. And they put such a guarantee behind it that they say, if it does yellow, let them know, they'll replace it for you. So you get a beautiful lifetime guarantee, but you shouldn't need it because they say you will die before this case yellows. Now that's a huge claim, so I'm super excited to test it long-term and check it out. But for now, let's step around the case. So on the back, now this is something a little bit different. If you can see, your magnet is instead of being on the inside of the case, now you do get this little bit of texturing right here for the magnet, but it's a little bit protruded out right there if you can see. Well, that's because D-Brand decided to put the magnet there to give you guys optimal magnetic connection without sacrificing anything with the case. So huge shout out to D-Brand for thinking of that. And I kind of like this little question mark MagSafe and we'll test it out to see how it is and all that. You guys know what we do around here. So anyway, stepping around the rest of the case, you do have your camera bump right there and moving along on the inside, nothing else besides really that MagSafe ring right there and this little smooth texture around for your camera. Now going around the inside of the case, the sides, you do get this black TPU style material. It is on the outside and on the inside and that's there to give you that little bit extra of shock absorption, but it is smooth all around the inside of the case here. So that is just something that you guys will note, but there's no reason to worry because this won't scratch up your phone or anything like that. Even though there's not too much cushioning there, don't worry about it, this won't scratch up your phone. So let's go ahead and take our black titanium 15 Pro Max and I'm so excited that I got this color specifically even for this case because it's gonna look so good. Let's go ahead and slap it on and see first off, you know we gotta test that click out. Little good click, but you can feel that it is solid on the phone. Let's check out the corners real quick. One, the camera corner. Very nice click onto the corners. You definitely don't have to worry about this case coming off if you drop it or it falls, anything like that, you'll be good to go. And just first things I noticed, now you guys are unboxing it with me, checking it out with me for the very first time. And this thing is super thin. I really love the way that it feels. And we'll talk about that here shortly, but look at how thin that is. This, is, this may be one of the thinnest clear cases on the market because they do say that it is 1.2 millimeters thin it is 100% yellow proof and you get 10 feet of drop protection. I mean, 10 feet on such a slim, thin case like this. Now I'm not about to sit here and drop it from 10 feet. You guys know that that's not what I do, but what we're gonna do is definitely make sure, and if I drop it so, you know, during everyday use or whatever, it is what it is. But let's step around the sides of the case. So on the top and going all the way around the sides, you get this nice little rigidy material right there which gives you that grip, but also helps with the shock absorption. 
Moving on to the left-hand side, you do have your action button there. Thank you so much, Dbrand, for not giving us a cutout. You get an action button, and it's a little bit recessed further down than the rest of the buttons, if you guys can see that. But that's just so you know which button's which, and you're not mistaken anything. So action button, you got your volume up and down, and again, that grip that goes all the way around, even on top of the buttons. Let's listen to how those buttons sound. They say you got super clicky buttons. Let's hear them out. Very nice, very clicky buttons. I really like that from Dbrand. And over here on the side, it is raised up a little bit and you can feel where all your buttons are. Now, moving along to the bottom of the case, you have your accurate microphone and speaker cutouts, as well as a nice wide open USB type C port. So any of your thicker ported uh, cables will go in there, no problem. And moving on to the right hand side, completely closed in with that elevated power button. Now, let's take a look at that camera and screen lip. Looking at the camera, you get a very proper camera lip with that. I like that. So you definitely don't have to worry about setting this down on its back. No problems. It shouldn't mess up your camera or anything like that. Nothing should rub against your camera is what I mean to say. And on that screen lip, I still am using a Banks tempered glass screen protector. I do have that little air bubble right there from when that other case peeled it up, but that's okay. You know, so either way, you do have that screen protector on there and you still get a little bit of a screen lip right there. So really good on that. You can set this down on its face and not have to worry about anything scratching it up. You'll be good to go. Now, Dbrand also, if you guys can see, have these little tiny, tiny raised up corners. They're barely noticeable unless you really look at it and you definitely can't feel them, which is great, but that's gonna give you that extra shock absorption for that 10 feet of drop protection all around each corner of the case. Now. Let's talk about the fit of it. Like I said earlier, it feels really good in the hand. Oh, Shazam's listening. It feels really good in the hand. It's very slim, very sleek. It's very grippy. So like I said, even with the D-brand grip, you had great grip. On here, you have great grip as well. You don't have to worry about this sliding out of your hands or anything like that. If you have it in your hands, no matter whether your hands are wet or whatever, you'll be good to go with this. So that feels really good in the hand. Like I said, very slim. I really am enjoying using this for right now. Like I said, first impressions, just putting it in my hand. I can definitely see myself using something this slim. You guys know I'm a slim case kind of person. I really like things that are a little bit slimmer on the more minimal side. And this is really, really good. Very slim, I love it. And just look at how that looks with the black titanium 15 Pro Max. Let's give this a little wipe down to get that full effect of the case real quick. And I mean, look at that, that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Dbrand knocked it out of the park. And let's go ahead and bring over our usual suspects for the MagSafe test, and we'll test it out. So starting off with the Apple MagSafe wallet with just that little insert in there, let's check out those magnets. Nice connection on there. There is your MagSafe animation, and you can sit here and kind of move it up and down. It's not going anywhere. This is your pocket test, you'll be good to go. And that's great also because Dbrand thought of us with that magnet on the outside because usually this material on clear cases, this just plastic and material, your, mag your MagSafe accessories are just gonna slide all around. But with that magnet being right there on the outside, you can attach this and don't have to worry about it coming off, which is awesome. You do have to kind of push it off of there for the MagSafe wallet to come off. Now, going over to our Apple MagSafe battery pack, nice connection on there. Let's see, do we get our charging animation? Let's try it one more time. Give that a second. Let's see. Okay, maybe no animation. My, my phone's been a little weird with the MagSafe animations, but it's on there for sure. You can sit here and shake it and shake it and shake it. It's not coming off, as well as you can shake it by the Apple MagSafe battery pack, and it's not gonna come off either. So, great MagSafe on there so far. And last but not least, let's go ahead and bring over our Anchor 623 and check out how it looks on there. Now, right away, it's picking up our MagSafe base, which is great. That's a great sign. And like I said, nobody ever really does that, but that's something I like to test out for you guys. So there we go. We can turn it on its side and give it that full 360 degree turn. No issues whatsoever. We can sit here and go ahead and tap on all of the sides of the case. Now you'll see it shaking a little bit, obviously, because it'll move the MagSafe base a little. But if I hold it down, you can see tap all the way around and you have nothing to worry about with the magnetic strength. Let's give it a little shake this way. And that's really the only way you'll be able to get it to come off. But 
like I said, it's picking it up. No problem. I can move my hand. No issues whatsoever. So excellent MagSafe strength on the D-Brand Ghost case. And I'm still just absolutely in love with the way this looks. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but this may be my daily for a little while because I love clear cases. I love to show off the color of my phone. And usually with clear cases, you have to sacrifice one thing, one of which being either the MagSafe strength isn't so good or you don't have the greatest grip or you just get that ugly yellowing. And if you're somebody like me, you know, I put my phone in and out of my pocket all day. I'm constantly moving around doing things. So I really appreciate the fact that dbrand guarantees that this will not yellow, whether it goes in your pocket, in your purse, whatever you're doing. And if it does, you let dbrand know they'll take care of you with a new case, but it definitely should not yellow. Now, I'm just loving these accents. Like I said, this is a great, great looking case. Super slim, super minimal, and looks very good. Feels very good in the hand. I'm impressed. So with that being said, again, this is the D-Brand Ghost case, the most hyped case I've ever seen. I really like it. I definitely recommend it. As far as I can see right now, this may be the best clear case I have ever used just because of that magnet, that grip, the way that it looks, it's looking amazing. It works great. And I'm super excited to keep testing it out and letting you guys know on the progress. So if you wanna see an update video or anything like that, let me know down in the comments below. But also let me know what you guys think about the Ghost. Did you pick one up? The price on it is $49.99. It's a little pricey, but dbrand gives you, it checks every box. You know, they check every box off for you with this case. So I definitely think it's a good buy. And I don't think that you'll have any issues with it. If you do with the yellowing, dbrand has you covered, like I said. So that's that. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.